what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john city for and today i'll be talking about one of the top 20 most hated videos here in youtube and i'll be talking about call of duty infinite warfare which is freaking crazy it's just been a few amount of days i believe it's been like around five days to seven days since the trailer released and god damn it go right now to the trailer and look at the amount of dislikes it has over five thousand dislikes what the fuck i'm surprised it happened to this game and not advanced warfare or call of duty goes because you know a long time ago i remember there was like around fifty thousand dislikes and like around 200 likes on you know advanced warfare maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm exaggerating a little bit but i'm pretty sure there was not a, that much of a amount of dislikes in advanced warfare which um you know it's pretty surprising because it's kind of similar to what infinity warfare is doing anyway so hmm what's exactly going on i believe the number one reason is because you know the deals that are going on the only way you can get call of duty 4 is by buying the legacy edition which is gonna be 80 dollars God damn, at this point, I can just call you Money Hungry Activision. That's pretty much what your name is at this point. Because why can't you just separate it? At this point, like, it's too obvious. You're money hungry. Why can't you separate it? Why can't you separate it into two hard copies, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be at the release day? Like, is the glue that hard to, like, unstick or something? Like, what the fuck is going on, Activision? So, yeah, man, I'm pissed out about this whole situation, too. Like, you know, Call of Duty 4, why can't it be sold separately? I mean, I'd rather pay, like, 40 bucks towards, you know, Call of Duty 4 and call it a day because that game was pretty awesome. Even with the 10 maps, it's still value at 40 bucks for the next gen because I'm pretty sure it's going to be greatly remastered and hopefully they don't fuck up with the servers and i already talked about the whole situation a long time ago too like they're in, they're gonna intentionally fuck up the servers so you guys can jump over to infinite infinite warfare so uh, watch out with that so anyways um yeah that's the number one reason because you know you gotta buy call of duty you know infinite war along with call of duty 4 in order for you guys to get that deal you know the call of duty 4 game and um that's what pissed off everybody Another thing that pissed off everybody is that the Legacy Edition does not come over with the Season Pass for Infinite Warfare. So what's the point in call it, calling it inf the, the Legacy Edition if it's only two copies? Like, it doesn't make sense. So, um, so yeah, man, I'm not going to cough up $120. I'm just going to buy the freaking Legacy Edition, return Infinite Warfare for 30 bucks towards the next game, and pick it up later on in January, maybe. That's how long I'll take to freaking play Infinite Warfare. Because I'm pretty sure Infinite Warfare is going to be trash. By this point, we all know that. Because, you know, back in Call of Duty Ghost, I was delayed by 1.8 seconds in the servers. That's a long time. And then the other one was uh, Call of Duty... What was the other one? I forgot. Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 was a total lag fest. They never fixed the dedicated servers. There was never dedicated servers. We even, everybody did a video to black out Modern Warfare 3, but nobody listened and the servers were still shit. So those two games were made by Infinity Warfare when the team left, when the original team from Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 left. That team after, you know, during, during Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty Ghost took over. That team did never made a dedicated server. So, you can imagine what's going to happen with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Those servers are going to be shit. So, um, yeah, man. Good luck playing Infinite Warfare because it's going to be total crap. I can already tell right now. But I'm pretty sure some people are going to defend it right now. And then some, dis some dislikes and can be saying like, Oh, you still haven't played the game? You don't know nothing. My man, I know the rhythm of the freaking these companies. You know, I know what they're doing. I already felt their previous games from Treyarch, um, you know, Sledgehammer games. Sledgehammer games did a good job of Advanced Warfare, to be honest. Their servers were okay. But, you know, the jumpy, jumping bullshit, it was Call of Duty on cocaine. So, um, anyways, the number one reason why is because of, you know, the deals. The number two is because Infinity War, I'm pretty sure they're not going to do, uh, you know, dedicated servers. And also, we're going futuristic again. Another thing will be the Battlefield 1 release, you know, reveal trailer. It was dope. We're going back into World War One, So, that's another thing that's going to, you know, pretty much splash out Call of Duty out the water. Because World War One, man, fuck. We've been saying this for the longest time. We wanted a game from back in time, and we got it. So EA got my vote, man. They all got they got my 60 bucks. I don't know about Call of Duty. I don't know about this here. So like I said, guys, I don't want to talk about the most disliked video. Over 500 dislikes now. Damn. 